What is up guys, I'm JKU390, and welcome back to part 2 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda freaking Link to the Past. There we go, I got myself all confused there for a second, but all is well. Anyway, I might as well start hurrying up with this, because I've got a few things I want to do. Hopefully I remember where to go. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Alright, sorry about that. I, uh, <laughs> had to check something with my audio real fast. Well, basically I had to open my audio so I could see it. Nonetheless. Okay, so I went and got some bombs. That was the only thing I did since last time. I play a little bit more of my practice file. There's a book up there, but I don't remember how to get that, so I don't think I get it yet. Though when I do get it, I think I remember what it's for. I haven't played this game in a really long time. Alright, so let's go ahead and just talk to this dude. He's like, Hey, JKU. I've been quarreling with my younger brother. It's something really stupid, too, but sometimes you just can't give in, you know? So I sealed the door to his room. That'll learn him. That's right. That douchebag literally took stone and locked his younger brother in his room. Because he argued with him. There's his brother. Hey, JKU, did you come from my elder brother's room? Is he still angry? Nah, there's just a giant stone wall there. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> but anyway, here's why we came here. And I thank the, uh, a walkthrough for showing me the trick to beating this much quicker than the way I used to have to do it. But yeah, basically, you just gotta run through this in 15 seconds. So, go. You wanna go up to the second one here. Neat, neat, neat. And then instead of following the maze the rest of the way, just jump that. And then you walk down and... 10 seconds. Which means I get this piece of heart. See, I didn't know I could jump over that fence. <coughs> but I could, and now I got another piece of heart. Alright, now where do I go next? What was next on my agenda? Hmm. Is there anything in here? Oh yeah, you pay that guy to open treasure. Doesn't sound fun to me. If there's anything special there, I'll... I don't know, I'll find it in my practice file. Alright, so. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this LP thus far. I mean, yeah, I'm only two parts in. But, <laughs> still. Yeah, you can probably hear me spam the X button like that. I did set or switch over to my attack being A now, and I'm actually going to switch my boomerang to that, just so I don't accidentally throw bombs. Aha! And of course I miss. Alright, here we are again, back at Link's house. Actually, I'm going to go inside and get some free health. Because these pots here always contain health. So that's a little fun thing if you come through here. Also, if you die or save your game, you can choose to load here instead of where you saved. So that's sometimes a helpful thing, too. Hey, ow. <laughs> Dick. Oh, I need that. <coughs> Alright, so now we're going to get some more heart pieces. Not really going to go on with the main storyline yet. Actually, I'm probably going to end up having to make a cut whenever I switch over to go to where the main storyline parts are. Hmm, let me think. Actually, for the time being, I don't need that, so I will... That treasure has bombs in it. And I just bought ten, so there's no point in wasting the ones that are already in there. Alright, so the water flow here is basically taking all of the water from outside of this area. So I'll show you what I mean. Like, all the water that was here originally dried up. That's where there's fish bouncing around, and there's a piece of heart. And now I got a full heart. Or a heart container out of it. So that's always helpful. Okay, here's another cool thing with this game. Sparkly stones. You just beat the crap out of them and money flies out. And bombs sometimes. But I want that. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't get that one. Oh well. And I hate those stupid birds. Those things are like one of the most annoying things in this game. Although I'm sure as I continue playing, I'll remember more annoying things, but those are just everywhere. There are any stupid vultures that just fly around you. Ow. And cacti. Yeah. Hmm. 
I should have totally hit him. Yeah! Haha. Alright, so, now we're gonna go in this room. And it's another good point to have bombs. <laughs> Alright, this dude right meow. You don't really have to talk to him, but... I am Magnia. Another guy that's name's kind of weird. It's like Agnia, I think. I sense something is happening to the Golden Land. The seven sages sealed this must be of, or must be an omen of the great cataclysm foretold by the people of the Helian blood. The prophecy says the hero will stand in the desert holding the Book of Mor yeah, Mordora. If you have the Book of Medora, you can read the language of the Heli Hylian people. It should be in the house of books in the village. You must get it if you are indeed the hero. And yeah, that's that book that I'm pretty sure I saw earlier. Boop. But that's not important right now. This is the reason we came here. Oh my gosh, it's another piece of heart! And I think there's one more piece of heart that we can go get still. So... Also, I just realized my computer fan turned on, so that's going to be more noise removal I got to do. Hooray! Alright. <coughs> Since we're only like seven minutes in, I was going to cut out the part of me running back to basically where we just were. But we've got so much free time, it doesn't really matter. So, let's see. Hopefully I remember to go back to get those free bombs. Eh, heck, I'll take them now. Even if that only means I'll get two instead of, I think, four. So yeah, pretty easy thing to figure out, too. Uh, just push sides up instead of the middle one. And then, middle over. You got some bombs! I know I was out of sync with that one, but... <coughs> Sometimes I'll just yell random stupid stuff like that. Alright, so now one more major place to go, and I always hate trying to find this place. I don't know why, it's just, it's one of those places that I have trouble finding sometimes. Actually, <coughs> hmm. I think I could take up past the castle. That's what I'll do. Oops, did not mean to drop bomb. Aha! And there was the boomerang grabbing a rupee, if you wanted to see that. There's a few other random things you can find in these bushes, too. Like, I haven't found a fairy yet in the LP. But those are another big thing. Oh yeah, there's a person. I was actually one of the next things I was going to talk about, people hiding in them. And send them stuff like bumblebees that will fly out and attack you. And then you can catch them. Those guys right there throw spears. Yeah, like that. I guess a javelin. Oh, that's just cheap. It seems sometimes like if you pick up a bush, you have a better chance of finding crap. Oh crap, there was another one, a bomb. The little weird mushroom looking things. They're basically buttons, I think. That if you step on them, they blow up and... Well, hurt you. You know, same thing bombs are supposed to do whenever they hit people. The enemies are annoying me. Alright. <coughs> Alright, somehow I think I did end up going the right way. Alright then, cool. Oh crap. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Yeah. Stupid bird. Well, anyway. So you come up here and there's these sets of like shrubs, all the bushes all around each other in the set of nine. You just go through to the middle one and there's a hole. Drop down it, and... Heart piece. 
there seems like there should be something here or there might even be something here later but at the point now i don't remember anything actually being there and then that guy's just like this is a thieves base you can't go back there or blah 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 whatever but now i have no reason to go there uh-oh go away no my monies dick give it back you dick Yeah, I'm just gonna keep beating the crap out of you. Oh, dildo! No! Okay, yeah, he's like invincible. That guy is a god. Oh yeah, then there's these. This is it! The Master Sword! No, this can't be. Too bad. It's like the false hope weapon of the game. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did hit him. Okay, cool. I was like afraid to get close because I thought he was gonna just launch out the second I moved in. See, there's one of those bombs right there. Right there, but I don't want to hit that. I want freaking health. That's what I want. Maybe somewhere in the village we'll have it. Or if I die, I can just go back to my house. What's a place here that's got health? Why can't I remember? Meh, whatevs. <laughs> well, we're back to where we were earlier, so now we're just going to head back over to, I guess, the far right now. Can I jump down into that? And I guess that's what she could have maybe said? I don't know. I want to go there, though. I'm not going to finish that sentence because it would sound bad. Yay, health! Now I don't have to hear that annoying sound of... Or whatever the beeping thing is. Alright, yeah. So if I go through that hole, then I get into where that is. Sorry I got sidetracked by that. I just don't remember that area or what's in it. But I guess I can't get to it yet. Or go any further with this, for that matter. So I'm going to head down to the lower path again and just walk back over to... I guess we're going to go past Link's house first. Refill on health there and then go to where we need to go. Or die and respawn at Link's house. <coughs> or JK's use house or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, my commentary is a little bit off right now again, but... What can you do, right? And yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty prone to getting lost in this version of, like, Hyrule. I'm not very good at <laughs> finding my way. Like, I just know the general direction of everything. So sometimes I'll end up getting off by a few panels, and then I won't be able to find my way to where I need to go next. But this should be Link's house, right? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, if I get lost, I apologize for that, because that bound to happen a couple times. Just like me getting a little lost in my game and not commentating as much. Which is why I sometimes like to do post-com more. <laughs> it's definitely why during my Zero series I had to do post-com during the boss battles and then eventually just through the whole game. Ah, ah. All right. I'm actually about to have to make a cut up here, because I'm going to be... Yeah. Poop. Ah. Yes, I'm going to be poop. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go, is more what I'm saying poop about. 
And I hate those stupid statues. Okay, I guess I just keep going north from here. I'll try that. Aha! Got it. <coughs> I am indeed Shashera. All the people have to have crazy names. The village elder and a descendant of the seven sages. Oh, really? I'm surprised that one so young is searching for the sword of evil bane. Of evil's bane. Oh, excuse me, I just burped. JKU, not just anyone can use that blade. Legend says only the hero who's, who has won the three pendants can wield that sword. Do you wish to find it? Ah, uh, yeah. Or, of course. Yeah, I'm going with the uh, yeah, because of the way I said it. Good. For your first test, you can retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace. If you bring it here, I shall share more of my knowledge with you. Now, onward to the palace. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, dude. I'll totes do that eventually. In my practice file, I wasn't able to get back here, so I wanted to. I got more bombs! I got money! I got money! <laughs> Alright, so... Actually, I'm gonna at least walk over to where we need to go next. And then I'm going to make a cut. Because I'm recording this on the 21st. And it is about to switch over to the 22nd. Which is, uh... Well, the anniversary of the first stream with Sora. My father's birthday. And my friend Shars X Eve's birthday. Yes, I'm calling her by her YouTube name, because, you know. Yeah. Although you... Well, you know her if you run in-game. You probably won't know her if you... Only watch LPs, because I don't think... Yeah, she's never been in a part, and we've never talked about her. So... <laughs> All right. This should be it right now. Yes, indeedy. Here we are, the East Palace. So, I will be back, guys. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I am back. I'm a little bit further ahead of what I was, but that was so I could help start my video better. Anyway, it is a new day, actually, whenever I'm recording this. But that is okay. Well, not really a new day. It's still the 22nd, but it's, you know, later in the day. So, without further ado, let's continue on with our East, whatever the place is called, like East Palace or East Temple or East Dungeon, though. No. It's East something. But anyway. Wait, was there something back there I was supposed to get? I don't remember. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, this place is probably going to wreck me. Just saying. So over here, I think, is like a 100... Yeah, there's a hundred rupees in there. Which is, uh, pretty helpful. And now I have 400. That's always helpful, too. <coughs> so yeah, max you can hold is 999. I found out because I got that already on my practice file. So, like I said, this dungeon might contain a lot of fail. Like that. No, but I mean worse fail, like me dying a lot. As long as they keep running away, I don't really care. Darn it. <laughs> yeah. I got the map! So, I guess since I have to explain this in terms of people that haven't played the games, basically every dungeon has a map to foresee away a compass, and pretty sure they all have weapons. Not Maybe not always, but a lot of the times they'll have a secret weapon. Like the boomerang, which I have. 
I'm gonna try and grind off health in this room. Nope. No, okay, yeah, they're, they're gonna prevent that, aren't they? Oh, that's fine. I like this room. Because pots kill stuff really easy. That's right, kids. Pot kills. No, but it just makes it a lot easier to get through this section. Plus, if you get stuff in it, you know, it's always helpful. My mic seems to be particularly low, and I don't know why. I have all the settings up higher than they were, actually. And there's the compass. Okay, I guess technically all the dungeons have a big key as well, which you use to fight the boss and get a large treasure. Which, there's where the big key goes right now. That treasure down there, and the door you're about to see in a minute. Those guys I just killed, you can kill with, well, basically for the time being, a pot. I don't know if you can kill him with your sword, but we'll be getting a weapon later that you can kill him with. The weapon of this dungeon. I wonder what the chances of that are. So far, a full-on heart, so that's always a good sign. Until I get to the boss. Ow. Oh, wait, no, I can't remember where it is, actually. Yeah. Yes. Got a key. But there's a door down here. Ah, cheaters! Cheaters! Alright, there we go. That was the one I needed the key for. Alright, so you just kind of bring it on over. <coughs> oh, and if you guys are wondering some of the other rooms, like whenever I first started this temple, there's a, uh, or dungeon. Wow, I have no idea how I hit that. There were two side paths you could have taken. Those just go to the dead ends that hang over a cliff. So there's absolutely no reason to take those. Sorry, I should have pointed that out earlier, but yeah, most of the just paths on this one are just dead ends and that's it. So now, once I kill the final uh, enemy in this room, those red things will spin off and leave that pot and then I can move it to get the button I need. And then open out this trash to get the big key. Trust? It's your trash. Open this chest to get the big key. Oh, I could have just take him out for door. I'll do that. Yeah, it's kind of push. <laughs> yeah, those blocks like that, for some reason, you can only push like one square and that's it. I need a heart. I have no heart. I got the bow! So yeah, that's the weapon in this place. I have a freaking bow and arrow. Ow. A very helpful bow and arrow, I might add. <clears throat> Did I really just miss both? That was pathetic. Ah, mine. Ooh. Well, there you guys go. I died my first time. I will meet you guys back there, actually. What is up, guys? I am back. 
I forgot to show you guys this thing. I don't know why I forgot, but yeah. Basically, it's just you talk to him, and he's like, I can talk to you telepathically with these for some reason. And he gives you uh, helpful hints. That's about it. So he's like, basically, the guys are in armor. You need the bow to kill them. But at least, yeah. I guess at least you can hit them with the sword and stuff. It just isn't going to kill them. something in this room? I can't remember. The bunch of rupees. Crap. Crap. Alright. That was stupid of me, but I wanted to get all the monies because, you know, I'm a greedy dick. Don't worry, that's gonna come back to bite me. I need stupid hearts. Poop sauce. I've saved some arrows then. That opens the door, the lowest one. And then... Now oh. oh, I'll shoot this one. Heart? Poop. Well, at least I got 30 arrows again. This is always a fun one. If you're in there long enough, it starts getting a little hectic. But yeah, just the top uh, left one is the one you want to take in that one. Alright, so the red guy up there does not get hurt by the pots. Or your sword. He, like, doesn't get stopped by anything other than the bow. for these guys. My. Now hopefully, yeah, there we go. And anything else you guys want to give would be grateful. No, no, okay, no. I was hoping for at least one more bomb just so I could have a full set. Well, here's the boss, guys. Wait, quit firing, quit firing. There we go. I don't know why I always want to just start spamming that arrow on these guys. That was a stick. Giant waste of arrows, by the way. There we go, I got the heart container, and the pendant. Oh yeah, I got the pendant. You won the pendant of courage! Take it to black- The two pendants remain. Alright. Go away! Screw you. Yeah. And then of course I can't reach. Yeah. Some failed fighting right there by JKU390. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm just gonna head back and I'm gonna end this part. 
back, demon. Wrong way, wasn't it? Yes, wrong way. Oh well. There we go. It worked. So, you got the Pendant of Courage. Then I shall tell you more of the legend. Generations ago, an order of my knights protected the Hyl Hylian royalty, however you want to pronounce it, whatever. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. It has been said that whenever disaster wa waylays the royal family, a hero shall emerge from the bloodline of the knights of Hyrule. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place with the Seven Sages. They created... Wow, I messed that up. Seven Sages created their seal, so it was thought that a hero would never again emerge. But... Oh, I almost said lol. But laugh out loud. I believe you are our hero, JKU. Find the remaining pendants and carry this with you. It's a treasure passed down from the family of sages. By him. I want you to have it. I got awesome shoes. So yeah, it's the Pegasus shoes. Um, it's a sprint attack. I like to just think of it as being able to run in this game. Cause it's just like, me. It's got the Scooby-Doo style where you start out running and then actually don't go anywhere. But anyway, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just end this part here. So until next time, guys. Later.